Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be discussing my favorite moisturizers and leave-in conditioners. So let's get to it without further ado. So I'm going to start with my favorite moisturizers because people always ask me how do you get your hair so moisturized and you know especially for my texture here they always wonder not that every day I'm on point but when I need to be I know how to be with so let's first the blue magic carrot oil do you guys remember this yes I introduced this in my high puff video and I noticed that it hasn't been making my hair so soft and I think it's because I was using it like every day and this actually has protein complex in it and you know protein is a tricky thing your hair needs it but it is very very tricky I don't know what the light is doing it keeps going in and out I, I probably have to invest in a ring light eventually but anywho it has protein so you have to be careful with this one so maybe not use it every single day but maybe three times a week or something like that you can use it because it's very good and it makes your hair super soft if not overused well in my experience the second thing I use sometimes is the design essentials natural daily moisturizing lotion this one has a tacky texture but it's formulated for natural hair just like the rest of these products um, I normally look for things that target natural hair although you have other goodies that will surprise you as well from L'Oreal and other brands uh, yeah so this is tacky and this is good for everyday use if you want and you know Design Essentials is a good brand the Shea Moisture right, so next Curl Enhancing Smoothie well this is really a styling product but some people don't like it for their twist outs and braid outs or whatever but it can double up for moisturizing um moisturizer right for your hair uh, because that's really how i use it sometimes i use it for my twist out i actually used it the other day for a twist out and it came out pretty good so this is good for moisture and shine so it's a two-in-one product the next is the curl and style milk i think i prefer this for moisture i prefer the other one for styling and this for moisture but this can double up as well like i said before and this just makes my hair so 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 soft guys so soft so i would really recommend this this gives moisture and shine as well and it has silk protein and neem oil so watch out for that protein if you're protein sensitive as well so if you're protein sensitive i would say go with the design essentials i'm going to go on to my leave-in conditioners a lot of these products i spoke about already in my favorite hair product videos but people keep asking me and i don't mind going over it and i have some newbies first i'm going to start the heat tamer from tresemme it's a thermal creations heat protection yeah heat protection up to 450 degrees fahrenheit and yes i do use heat not often maybe three times since i've big chopped and um i don't really straighten my hair probably hold my hair taut and use the blow dryer just back and forth that is for a little bit on cool setting but i still still really protect my hair you have to protect your hair ladies i know some people don't care about heat damage but i care a lot about heat damage i don't want to have heat damage so just ensure that you use something to protect your hair and i've seen a lot of ladies on youtube use this my mom uses this as well and her curls pop right back so i this is tried and trusted so i highly recommend this and it's affordable as well a very good price point next after i shampoo my hair i always always put these two in it by Afogee because they strengthen my hair and moisturize my hair this one strengthens this one moisturizes because this is the reconstructor with green tea and it has also protein in it for strength and this moisture because your hair needs moisture 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 especially if you have colored hair color treated hair you bleach it or whatever maybe a box color 
moisture is uber important ladies we have to get the health of our hair up and everything else will fall into place and then I move on to a detangler this is right also tried and, and tested it's the kinky curly knot today leaving detangler and look guys look here you see it's almost gone <laughs> right I really need to get another one this is not so affordable see the light again hmm anyway back to the video this is not really I want to say at a comfortable price point but it's worth the investment just look at it that way it's an investment in your hair and this makes detangling so much easier for me and um, I, I'm very gentle with my hair sometimes it gets overwhelming even at this stage and sometimes I just feel to just <clears throat> rate that comb through it but <laughs> I try not to right and products like this help me out. I also use the mixed chicks leave-in conditioner a lot of people probably would pass it saying oh I, I mixed so why would I use this but this is good for our hair for everybody that has curly hair whether tightly curled coiled to loosely curled or whatever this is a very good product and if you have like a looser curl pattern this will this can double up as a styler as well um, I normally follow up with my twisting or braiding or whatever but this is good ladies I highly recommend it this is not as a comfortable price point either but these are investment products another thing is how could I ah I didn't have it this uh, the Paul Mitchell original conditioner ladies let me tell you let me tell you when you put this in your hair and then you use the eco styler girl your curls your coils will be popping for days i'm telling you this plays very well with eco styler it doesn't um leave anything on the hair your hair don't feel clammy or anything at first when you put it in it's very white it's it's blue it has a blue consistency but then when you add it when you add it to your hair it gets white and then you add your eco styler and it, it looks kind of foamy at first but after a while that goes and what you're left with is curls popping for days guys and lots of shine and definition this is my secret weapon to my washer my wash and go and I really 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 owe you guys a wash and go video but it's hard to do as in uh, as in to get the camera out when I'm washing and everything you know what I mean but I'm going to do it for you but giving you guys a head start this is one of the products I use when I do my wash and goes and they come out box okay all right and another thing that I use um, is the Carol's Daughter Tui Leaving Moisturizing Conditioner. Some people have told me that this, and you see how I love it too, it's almost gone. Some people tell me that this leaves their hair trashy. Um, I don't know, I can't relate to that because this refreshes my wash and goes perfectly. You know what I mean? When my hair needs that extra moisture, that extra zing or something, I just spritz it all over. If I'm not using water or oil, because sometimes I use oil to refresh the wash and goes because I realize that it keeps it it keeps it from frizzing the oil that is. But sometimes I use this when I want it to look more moisturized you know what i mean so this is an honorable mention so i think that's it ladies and if you have any more if questions any comments please leave them down below i don't mind answering i try and get back to everybody well the channel is small right now so it's easy to get back to you guys and whenever i see you guys comment i'm like beaming from ear to ear because you know i'm saying to myself people actually watching me people actually enjoying <laughs> You know what I do and I love to share and the more things I discover I will let you guys know about it my honest opinions on it and yeah I think that's it so that's my favorite moisturizers and leave-in conditioners let me know if you guys have used any of these products and your 
take on them or if you're interested in using them and for those of you in Jamaica you can get a lot of these products in places like uh, Discount Beauty Supply, any pharmacy as in Fontana or Lane or Monarch in Kingston um, yeah so that's it and I'm sure a lot of stores and whatever you can get you can get on Amazon right you can order on Amazon or you can I don't know I'm out of solutions but <laughs> I think yeah oh guys I forgot to, to mention honorable mention you see this the Moroccan oil let me speak properly have you seen this around the Moroccan oil glimmer shine spray I didn't get it in Jamaica I must say but guys let me tell you get this one get this one you know that our hair because of the coily texture the going around like this the curl pattern it doesn't really reflect light as well as if it was straight right so it's hard so sometimes our hair looks very very dull even though it's very moisturized and everything it just looks but I know it just not gone it just not happen you know what I mean but let me tell you this when I put it in my hair I have a lot a lot of shine and I get a lot of compliments as people asking me how do you get your hair like that you know what I mean so I really have to and I'm almost out most of these products I'm almost out so you know that it's the truth they are the truth guys try and get this i don't know how you don't get this in jamaica i don't know if you can go to the beauty supply store and try and request it and they bring it in for you um you guys in the states you can go on the mark and oil website and get it or you can um take advantage of amazon um anybody else in the caribbean take advantage of amazon as well guys because you know we gotta keep looking fabulous right First and foremost so first and foremost the health of our hair and then we and then the styling part will come after and then the length and everything but we have to look fabulous throughout the different stages all right guys so that's it from me and I will see you soon in in my other video and peace blessings and love <laughs>